Hey, I'm Jill, and I'm going to show you the basics of road mapping in RoadMonk. In RoadMonk, it's easy to build, share, and present your high-level product strategy, so let's get started. This is your homepage. It's what you'll see when you first log in, and it's where you can access all of your roadmaps. Now, let's start making your first roadmap. Click New Roadmap. Give your roadmap a title and choose a fiscal year end date. This is your items table. It's where you can add and manage roadmap items. Items are the things you see on your roadmap. To create an item, click add new item and give it a name. Each item will automatically have a date column associated with it. While you don't have to assign a date to each item, we'll add a start and finish date for this example. Items are organized with what we call fields. Think of fields as the categories you can use to group, filter, and pivot roadmap items. Let's start by creating a field that groups items based on status. We'll call this field status and enter values like in design, in progress, and so on. You can now use this field to indicate the status of each item. Let's add a second field to assign an owner to each item. We'll call this field owner and enter team members' names as values. Now we can start adding more items to our roadmap and categorize them using the status and owner fields. Let's skip ahead to a roadmap that has been populated with more items. Now it's time to visualize your items. We'll start with swim lane, a view that's ideal for agile or more flexible teams because it doesn't rely on dates. Use the format tab to structure your roadmap. Let's use the status field for the column header and owner for the row header. Now let's add some color. You can color your roadmap by field. Choose from preset color palettes or create your own. Let's now create a second view of this roadmap. For this view, let's change the column header from status to quarter to see what each team member is working on and when. The same roadmap data can be visualized on a timeline a roadmap view that shows how initiatives will evolve over time. To create a timeline view, click View and select Timeline. Go back into the Format tab. In Timeline, you can select a header and a subheader. These both appear on the left side of your roadmap. Like Swim Lane, you can color by field. You'll notice a slider at the top of your timeline. Use this to zoom in and out. You can also display weeks, months, quarters, or years on your roadmap within date preferences. With Timeline, you can also add milestones to spotlight high-level achievements and important dates. Click on the Milestones tab. Give your new milestone a name. From here, you can use fields to categorize your milestones just like we did with items. To highlight specific dates within individual roadmap items, use our Key Dates feature. Unlike milestones, key dates call out project-level deliverables or can be used to split one item into phases. Click on an item to open its item card. Click Add Key Date. Enter a name for each of your key dates and select a date. Those are the basics of road mapping in RoadMonk, and this is your kick-ass roadmap. If you have any questions, email support at roadmonk.com.